Hey everyone, welcome again to uh, another Coin Talk appreciation series. Um, today we're going to explore a fish that's provided quite a lot of contention in the in the industry. Um, fish that I absolutely adore um, for for many different reasons. Probably one of the reasons why I do like it is because of its contention. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of got people talking. Yeah, it? and obviously the fish in question is the famous uh, golden corn from Taniguchi Koi Farm. Um, for me, it's what koi is all about. <laughs> it's it's progression. Yeah. It's new, innovative. Yeah, it's what's needed. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that for sure. But yeah, what a fish! Obviously, the history of 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 this variety is probably glossed over a little bit. Well, I say a little bit, a lot with hobbyists because a lot of people are under the impression that boom this is the first golden corn it's on the map where did it, where did it come from what's it going to do how is it stable obviously i know you've got very close ties with uh, Taniguchi koi farm ricky mm. and a breeder that i'm yeah i have a huge amount of respect for mm. um not just for the innovation of trying to create new examples but mm. obviously is 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 bread and butter the, you know go sanki goshki that he produces are just out of this world as well just a, a really modern day thinking breeder mm. for i think we're both in agreement yeah with that. he's he's talented talented bloke as well and uh so obviously the the history of this if you could sum up the the the, the vision and the history of of i, I of think Golden probably Corn. probably first to the fish and I mean, my appreciation of quite, and when I'm looking at fish, it's not always just about what's in front of me. It's appreciating what's actually been done mm. to get a fish like that, for example. But just look at that. I mean, for a start, body line ticks every box. It's absolutely stunning. Bone structure-wise, absolutely insane. Cracking head. Lovely, lovely body line to it, leading into a nice thick peduncle there. It just nailed it big time. And that's something I've seen in them as well. Uh, the, the bone structure characteristics and the, the body shapes have been superb, mm. haven't they? I mean, you've seen it as well. They've really ticked all them boxes. And then, yeah, so where else do you go with the rest of it? It's got, got to tick the body box. This is the big thing. If you're ever going to produce like that, all Japan show winning Kawari Goi, if you want to fit them into that bracket, they've still got to deliver on body. If they're not delivering on body, they're not competing. End of. You can create the weirdest, most wonderful thing ever. Mm, yeah. uh, if it hasn't got the elegance with the body line, it's it's game over for it as far as... So he's done really well to perfect that side of things, first of all. And that's not just in that fish. Like I say, all the offspring I've had, that's been the overriding characteristic. I think that was seen throughout them, big bone structures and, and good growth, which has been nice. Uh, and then, yeah, you're sort of on... I'll probably skip to skin quality... We've got the Ginrin element, but this is where it all gets interesting. I mean, you, you talk about pan, red Kanoko in every scale. I think this is where yeah. this is underestimated. Yeah. Uh, coupled with Ginrin. Yeah. It's just wild. He's, he <laughs> has just... actually made the unstable stable. Yeah. Because Kanoko has been the most random thing in Koi probably for, mm. for as long as it's existed cannot see it coming most of the time it appears you're talking in showa shiro's yeah, things yeah, like yeah. that koaku even and then all of a sudden you've no control over it no knowing what it's going to do you've got one fish in every you know a few hundred or a few thousand probably that, that develop in some sort of kanoko that actually looks elegant if you can call it that i understand it's not everybody's cup of tea because it yeah, can look messy but when you mm. can actually appreciate how sort of rare it is as a trait in fish that to me is something to appreciate one way or another. And then to go and do what he's done and create that and a stable red Kanoko in a variety like that is just mind boggling. And that's the bit, another depth to quite appreciation for me, as well as just looking what's in front of me, is appreciating what it's actually took to create something so unstable and make it stable. Mm. And let's face it, it is stable because we've seen the amount of offspring that are still producing that. You know, yeah. fish that yeah, look yeah. like that. Yeah, not all that perfect. The same as every other fish that's dotted around on the walls here. You know, just because it's a new they're, variety. They're few and far between. Yeah, the top, top, they top, are. top ones. But yeah. even beneath that, you know, there's still loads of great examples looking like that. The white version of the uh, <laughs> yeah. golden corn, which I've got a real soft spot for. The really random, probably lesser known as well. Yeah, really random yellow Kanoko patterns coming through on them, and yeah, I mean to to watch them 
develop how they have done as well with the the, the red Kanoko. literally watch the sort of scale isolation as the fuka and i think i said it early on when i did some videos on these size was going to be their friend because mm, the yeah. fuka in uh, for people who don't know the sort of flesh in between the scales plays a big part in this but what we saw in the toe side was like a full uh, sheen of gin all over the body then as they've grown and we've started to get fuka in progression which has been seen quite early on as well for mm this size sort of like 40 45 cm showing signs of it then we're physically watching that sort of scale separation and all the gin pull into the scale strong, as well strong technicality point wow, isn't it? it's yeah. just just fascinating to watch so yeah it's not always about for me what's just literally in front of you with that example which is a complete and utter stunning fish in it but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's the depths and the layers to it that, that also make them interesting for me it, yeah i think the um yeah, that's probably the best word. The depth of what's going on mm. here in one one individual fish is just yeah. uh, when you actually and, break it down. Yeah. And when when he was actually, uh, I've spoke to him, you know, briefly about him as much as I've been able to, yeah, yeah. and he actually was. He's basically he was aware that obviously Karashi Goy can tend to throw that red pigment, mm. the blemishes that we don't like, and that's what he's he's basically preyed on a, a, a generic sort of uh, misfit. And, and gone and, and used that to create and actually stabilize it and create. Yeah. yeah it's just it's epic. Mind a, a, bit, a bit of a shame that obviously I know it's not for everyone. Um, fish like this, I mean, comments online, gimmicky. Um, it's quite, quite a few people not really understanding, probably not really wanting to understand the variety either. Um, for me, it's quite easy for me to gloss over that sort of thing. I, I enjoy the hobby and the industry for what I enjoy. Um, but obviously those out there that are probably looking at this fish going, I quite like that, but I better not say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm no, I mean, my quite appreciation has no limits. I'll appreciate yeah. anything. And, and when it's good, I want to know more about it. He's mm. produced top examples and it's like, they sort of did burst onto the scene a little bit last year. Uh, I think I brought the first batch into the UK and was the only person yeah. with them. And all think... of a sudden, I'm pumping them out, telling people about this fish they probably know very little about. Mm. And I, I see, you know, some people just thought, yeah, that's that's a fish that, uh, what are these all about? And it's the first year. Well, it wasn't. That fish at the time that won the award was four years old. Mm. You know, So I, I think, again, having spoke to him, it's actually a project he's about 11 or 12 years into. Uh, and yeah, no doubt from, with each passing year, there's a... Uh refinement in the bringing yeah, this is knowledge it. and obviously yeah. this is not a, an overnight no sort of just so, come up no. with it so uh, to him as a breeder he's already got an unbelievable understanding of how mm. these fish are progressing it's just us guys it was first to it that's why i was more than happy to to get balls deep into yeah, it as normal pig, get yeah. the fish in and start learning from them but they, they really, I mean, they absolutely fly, don't they? In terms of growth-wise. Oh, yeah, the, and you the, can the, see the, body lines like that yeah. are, are always going to. But the, again, the, the sets he was using, you know, I think uh, Chagoy was the first part mm. of the, the spawning. It was a fish over a metre. That's been the generic theme. This is one thing Taniguchi's superb at, is, is picking parent fish. The genetic parent. Really, yeah. really understands it well and spends the money on them mm. too. He doesn't, he doesn't skimp. And it, it goes to show, but that fish is just... It's a true one-off. Hopefully not. I'm hoping to see we see a lot more mm, of them. But yeah. at, at the time, it was a true one-off that really did blow people away because it's like we've never seen anything. Yeah, it's it bonkers, like isn't it? It just puts a smile on people's faces. Just to, you know, if anyone, before this fish existed, mm. to sort of discuss a fish and go, what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. And our, our breeder sits there and just thinks, ah, oh, yeah, I know. I think, I think it's epic. I think it needs to be applauded. And, you know, no doubt there's going to be a lot of fish that are, are, are underwhelming. There might be hobbyists out there that get disappointed with them. But like you said, how, how many other varieties? How, I'm, I'm looking yeah. at it now. How many Kikukuru exactly, end up that yeah. way? How many Kikisu is, yeah, you know? Precisely. And, yeah. the, the, you know, like when I talk, the, the white golden corns, the unpredictable nature of them and the Kanoko, it's no different to Matsukawa Baku yeah, and Kawonri, yeah. which have been around for decades. And, uh, and what do people typically say about them? Many. That they're a bit of a punt. Yeah. You don't truly know. But that's, again, depending on how you appreciate Koi. For yeah. me, that's part of the excitement. You know, he's not knowing what's coming, and they really do test you during selections as well. Mm. You know, at the time of getting those, the white, or even them, I'm selecting through them, needing to refine numbers, not really actually knowing what I'm giving away or what I'm keeping. 
Well, yeah, we've had a really, couple really of customers get back to us, haven't we? Sort yeah. of like. But that that is that is all part of it, isn't it? It's part of the learning process. Yeah. And, and I think that's why if you look at Go Sankey, you know, I think it's fair to say in the market, show are the dominant force mm, in Go yeah, Sankey. Yeah. And that's, why is that? The unpredictable yeah. nature of them. People like to see them develop, change and progress. Probably the most rewarding out mm. of all the, the Go Sankey. So, yeah. um, but yeah. no, that's off to him. That thing there is just... A masterpiece. Yeah. It is. Even just you strip it all back and just admire the body line. You know that alone, what he's produced there is superb, and then everything else laid on top, phenomenal. Yeah. So that's epic off. fish. Uh, one that Ricky and I uh, just uh, yeah spent many hours talking about over the years. So uh, yeah, hope uh, that's cleared a few things up for some people that perhaps uh, might not be buying into the golden corn. But yeah, uh, enjoy, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.